Good afternoon. Welcome to my studio and to the Jelly Arts page. I am Tracy. There we go. Hi, Anne. We have a couple of minutes um, before we actually begin. I just thought I would log in, make sure everything is working, make sure my camera is working. My camera is working. Let me just switch this around a little bit. I like to work out the bumps and the bruises before noon. How about that? Okay. There we go. We have Sarah. Oh, we have so many great people logging in. Okay. There you go. So, how are you all doing today? Thanks, Jelly Arts, for having me back. And, of course, I meant to print something before I went on so I don't get it wrong. I will just um, do it from here. Or I'll have um, Sarah tell me what I'm doing. <laughs> okay, let's see. <sighs> All right, got that, got that, got that. I was, well, Sarah will have to tell us because I, oh, no. Mm -mm -mm. All right, we do have a kit today, and I'm trying to find it. Sorry. Oh, I got it. Here it is. Awesome. Because I made a mistake. <laughs> I cannot find. There we go. All right, let's print that out. Um, I made a little mistake, and I believe I threw away the stencil that is supposed to be used in today's kit that comes from today's kit and I think I threw it away <laughs> I think at my last live Barbara just said uh, Barbara just said she needs an 8x10 um, plate you will so need that 8x10 plate and you can use my code uh, Tracy W to save money capital T capital W okay I don't want to misspeak today I printed it up and I have photos. Whoops, I printed more than that up. All right. Okay, thank you for your patience. Thank you for the nice mic. Uh, your cute shirt looks like a paint magnet. I, it is probably. Oh, I do have an apron. <laughs> Let's do that. Okay, which by the way, I just, uh, there. I'm going to wear my Jelly Arts apron so that uh, you can get these off of the Jelly Arts website. Like I just recently completed a workshop that is available to purchase on how to make your own painted apron. I teach how to do this. And you can go to my website and find that, but I should be painting on this. Okay, thank you for the reminder. Let's just cover this up so that we don't, um, that we don't uh, get any paint on our shirt. Okay, yeah, I do have a way of. All right, it's 11.58. Welcome, welcome to Jelly Arts. Thanks for letting me get all settled in and make sure my camera's working. Sometimes we have technical difficulties. And today I am going to work on, I don't know, I thought would what would be just something quick and fast and easy. Thanks, uh, you know, when Jelly Arts has me, that is what I like to do because we have an amazing team of artists and I am the artist coordinator, which is an awesome, awesome job because I get to work with all of you talented folks. But we have an amazing uh, artist team that we work with and you can always tag us on Jelly Arts. We're always looking for special people and Share your artwork. Sarah is our uh, moderator today, and she is our social media coordinator. So you have the audience of us if you ever want to share your work. We love to see it. And I'm happy to say that you can order direct from Jelly Arts. We are a company. We are woman-owned and made in the USA. I am not the owner. I'm just the artist coordinator, but I love our owner. And... Um, you can order direct from the Jelly Arts page. You also can get our supplies at Michael's and 
Dick Blick, which we fully say go on over there. I don't know about you guys, but um, it's not as easy to get out anymore. And some of us have backtracked. And many of you live in Florida. So um, Lisa said, I don't know why I struggle with jelly art sometimes, maybe too much paint. So we'll go over that and I'll answer any questions that you have. Sometimes I miss them. Sarah can text me or I will answer your questions at the end once the demonstration is over. And today I'm going to introduce a kit that um, I we put together. I think it's a phenomenal kit for art journaling, um, for, for um, what I'm about to do today. And I'm looking for a couple of tools, but I cannot seem to find them. Ooh, okay. We'll grab a couple of things out. Okay. I am going to tell you that uh, in this kit today that I am featuring, I would be featuring the stencil, but I think I threw the stencil away. But that's okay because we have awesome stencils, and I have that stencil in 8 by 10 So I will rip this out of the packaging. What happens sometimes when I'm demonstrating is I put stuff off to the side, and... I um, put it near my garbage can and sometimes things fall in. It's when I really get going. So I think I threw it away. But we're going to be working with this stencil in 8 and 5 by 7. And we're going to be using um, the 5 by 7 plate, which I absolutely love. Um, a roller and, an, and um, an instruction kit comes with it. So I took a picture of it just so I would remember. So remember that when I use this stencil, it's going to be a little bit smaller. But I have the belief that all of our stencils are amazing. Um, so don't be has, don't be surprised if I just pull those out. And um, thank you so much to Janie who just said hi from Washington. I love your demos. Okay, I I um, I. I love to keep it simple. And that's what we're going to do today because I'm on live three times tonight, uh, today on the internet, and I got to change my shirt between everyone. <laughs> okay, today I thought I would do this because I actually need them and I had these laying around. These are postcards, but they're actually tags postcards so I could throw them in the mail and I figure they were the perfect size for my 5 by 7 plate and I'm just going to create. That's all I'm going to do. If you have any questions, I have a screen up that I can see um, in front of me so that I can answer them but sometimes I, I, I get a little bit into the situation and uh, Let's see. We said, hi from California. I'm in San Diego, California. And I'm going to stand up because that's what happens to me. I have to stand up. All right. You know where you're here. You know why you're here. So um, I also will say um, my name is Tracy Weinzaffel, and I have a page. Love to have you follow me on social media. It's Art Journaling with Tracy Weinzaffel. I know my name is not easy to say, but I do teach online workshops, and I do teach Jelly Arts, uh, and I'm happy to work for Jelly Arts. So where can you get these postcards? <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> Um, you can get them in my secret stash of stuff. Let me see. I knew somebody was going to ask me that. And of course, I have had these probably for, a, oops, sorry, didn't mean to shake my desk. Um, I've had these for maybe a thousand years. And let's see if I can tell you who made them. No, <laughs> I don't know. Postcard. Aren't they cute though? I don't have an answer to that. I will try to find the answer to that. I don't know. You know, I used to work for a paint company, and I used to get lots of surfaces to paint on. I, I guess I must have at one time got a bunch of these because that's what I did a demo on. Um, hopefully, love those handmade postcards. Hello from Washington. Hello, Australia. We'll try to, I'll try to find that answer. Aren't they adorable? But I actually do need postcards. 
And I'm going to grab some paper to have it here. Right. Okay. I'm going to try and not throw away a stencil today. Why don't we make that our goal? If you're not familiar with our stencils, by the way, mine are used, uh, but they're loved. I don't obsess since I do lots of demos. My cleaning is rather... I'm going to move this back just a hair. Sorry about that. I just want to make sure. Okay. Um, they're awesome. And today I'm going to keep it really simple. And then we'll address some of the issues or questions that you have up, such as, you know, how much paint to use. I really just want to encourage you to get your jelly, jelly plates out. Aren't these fab? These are our 8x10. So if you get an 8x10 plate, you kind of have to have an 8x10 stencil. I definitely need to use these. I think I threw away two or three stencils. <laughs> So um, you can easily go to, Sarah will give you the link to order. And um, I cannot remember, but I know, oh, I think this kit is specially priced. And I think it's at $16. But you get the brayer, you get the 5 by 7 plate, you get the 5 by 7 stencil with an instruction booklet. Okay, see, I am prepared. All right. And everybody's going to tell me that they love these postcards. Oh, uh, you know what, Tandra, you could probably talk to uh, Sarah about that to address that situation. Um, all right, I I'm going to go ahead and take this one out of its packaging so I can throw it away later, just like it will land with the other one somewhere. I gotta, I've got to make a note to, and excuse my work surface, it's being well loved of late. All right, let's get my jelly plate out, my 5 by 7 I love this plate. It's what I use in my art journal. It's what I use to draw on things. Now the whole purpose of today, the whole purpose of today is to really just whip, let's see if these fit. Okay, look at that. Oh, who had this in mind today? The whole purpose of today is just to whip out some of these tags that we don't know where to get and I can't <laughs> give you a whole you know, I came up with this concept yesterday, so you got to go easy on me. All right. Now we need paint. Wouldn't that be handy? Wouldn't that be handy? You would have thought I would have. Okay. Paints are not hard to get to. All right. So the key to jelly plating is one less is more doesn't take a more it doesn't take a ton of paint i like a medium bodied acrylic you can use a craft paint you can use whatever uh you know acrylic paint oh my goodness you can use inks you can use stamps i'm not i'm just giving you a demo today i'm gonna try and be neat i just did my nails too let's let's try and do a lot of things that we wouldn't normally do all right now i don't really want to get the postcard part messy so I just did um, Lisa you were the one about questioning paint so I'm gonna say this about paint if you find your paint is slathering off the side you probably have too much paint that would be one so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lay this down and I'm gonna be crazy um, anal about this where I don't get paint on the tag because I want to keep the white part of the tag I know that's probably a little too obsessive there we go so we already have the postcard question answered now if this works I will be using these as thank you cards all right let's just pick this up now I didn't do anything to the oh gal I'm in love with oh 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 okay all right here is an example of I'm not touching this so what happens is I don't really clean my um, jelly plate off completely thoroughly and you get dried up paint on there. Now I really want that to dry. But it picked up my dried up paint. So here is demo number one. <laughs> okay, I didn't plan on that being the way it would be. But I'm totally, I don't want to, I don't want to cover this up. Okay. So there's number one, because I could draw over the top of that. I'm just curious because I really want to pick up the outside of that tag and show it to you. This is why I always have paper. Okay, I let that dry a little too long. But see, this is why I sometimes just leave my jelly plate and I don't go crazy about cleaning it. Because in, it, in itself, 
I think that's pretty dang amazing. And I don't really, I don't know. Oh, okay. I'm in love with that. That, that was a little different than I planned. <laughs> that was not what I planned. All right, so we're going to use the jumbo size of this because I'm going to just stick this down here. I'm going to stick it down with no paint on it for right now because I want to just see this. <laughs> that, was, that, was, that was the best unplanned thing I've had happen to me in a while. Okay. So we're just going to leave everything down there, but I'm going to do this. I want to roll this over. I'm going to base my... Now see, not a lot of paint. If you hear it... Oh, if, oops, see, I would have had paint on me. If you hear it gooping off the sides, I know that's not a word, or it's sloshing over the side, use this piece of paper. This is just copy paper that I leave. I don't even wash my brayer off. I'm going to tell you... Now watch, see, I will pick this up. I'll put it near the trash can. Oh, I love that. I will put this near the trash can, and I guarantee I'm not going to put it near the trash can. I've learned my lesson. We've already talked about that. I'm not doing it again. Um, I, I really just want to take this print. I said I was going to keep it. I was going to keep it simple. So I'm going to do the just that. Oh my god. Now I could have added another color, but we're just. That is how I feel right now. And I'm just going to. So this five by seven plate, obviously my tags are pretty well suited to size to fit this. Oh my God, I'm loving what was left over and dried up on this plate. I wanna, oh golly. Just, I'm in love. I, I just, I don't know, I get a little, I get a little crazy when I, you know, I love these colors together, so. I could have based, I could have actually based my, um, I'm just doing, see, when you get magenta and teal together, you get a lovely purple. So I'm just going to put this back right over it. It's going to look like somebody made these postcards professionally. And I'm going to draw over the top of them. There we go. Just using the piece of paper to keep my dirty paws from, oh my god, look at this, look at, ugh, oh, it just happened to be, my fingers won't stay clean for long, oh, okay, sorry, <laughs> all right, oh, Lisa, did you let, nope, I didn't, I didn't, I did not let it dry, I just went for it, nope, okay, I'm going to push that one aside, so, do you see what I'm saying, it's just super simple, I'm, I'm, I'll change up the colors a little bit. I'll continue. So let's just do, here, let's do this one now. Oh, come on out. Don't be shy. Okay, I'm going a little darker. I don't really let things, I don't, I'm not very patient. So um, let's put this back over it. And I'm going to put the side that actually had the paint on it. And let me, let me do that. Ooh. Ooh, I'm gonna wipe this up. See what comes up. I'm taking the paint out. I'm just gonna see what happens. This is just a, oh, I'm in love. Okay, now, oh, I, I want the stencil. I love that color, I love that color, I love that color. All right, now let's do this. Where do I want it? I really want to take this print, but I don't. So I'm not going to take the print. What am I going to do? Just do it, Tracy. Just drop the paint on there. Just a drop will do you. Get down there. Okay. I am. Oh, I darn it! I'm. That's okay. I'm okay. I'm not done. I'm not saying darn it yet. Okay. I'm going to have a whole series of beautiful cards, and I'm going to draw on these. Oh, God. But do you see, it does not take a lot of paint. Mm. I just love. Here we go. Okay, just giving that a tender pat. I'm, 
I'm really, I am mailing, I am, oh my God, I am mailing, I am mailing these kit. I mean these postcards. Where do you purchase the cards in bulk? <laughs> uh, I don't have an answer to that, but uh, I don't know. I, these are very old. They were just in my stash. I probably should have. Okay, I'm... I'm just loving that I'm going to be able to draw all over these. All right, let's pick up a new stencil. And let's now, I like the dried up bits that happen on here. So I'm not going to go crazy about cleaning anything up. And I'm going to go with a lighter color. Oh, girl. Not my, this is not my thing. I, I'm going to regret this. I can already tell. <laughs> I am not an orange person, but I, I'm not going to say that because I didn't rinse off my brush. Let's just leave it all go. Whoops. I'm going to get a little more in there. I like the dried paint that happens on there, and I normally just kind of leave it because all right, I'm going to do all these dang postcards. That's what I'm going to do, she said. We're just going to keep doing this. I use this kit in my, um, I use this kit, this 5 by 7 Oh, my God. Please tell me you're not in love. Okay, we need some red. We need something. Hold on. I need bright red. I need like lipstick red. The redder, the redder, the better. What is this? No. Nope. Let's do red. Of course, when I need red, I can't find red. I don't want to do another color. I'm stuck on red. Red, red, red. I guess it's going to be this one, and this is not the color I want. There she is. There she goes. Okay. This is one of my favorite red colors in the whole wide world. Uh, I'm going to try and I'm going to do this. Okay. Let me just go down there. Okay, please open and don't. Don't explode. And just to note, the um, the kit is already specially priced, so do not panic uh, if you don't you don't get the discount. My discount. You don't get my discount because I already priced that so that there is a discount. Um, so just keep that in mind. Okay, now. Oh, I am a sucker for circles. Oh, I'm a sucker for circles. Okay. Now, let's not throw that. Oh, hold on. I'm, I'm really trying to be good about keeping my... You guys, I was not an orange person. I just changed my mind. I'm an orange person. I didn't know I was an orange person, but I'm an orange person. Uh, where did that... Isn't that red? The most gorgeous red. I love pyro red. And for a little tidbit, pyro red is the color of a red Ferrari. Just thought I'd hand that to you. Okay, let's go red. Let's just... Let's go big or stay home. Do, 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 do. You never know what this is picking up because I have stuff underneath it. Oops. Ooh. Now you see, not a lot of paint goes a long way. Okay. 
Here's another trick which I learned from our designers. If you're ever looking to figure out your spacing of things, you can trace things or you can stick the tag right underneath and you'll get the sizing. I don't need to do that because I'm just not that. <sighs> I don't really operate like that today. Okay. Well, do we want to see another one? Where's another one of our stencils? See, you. Now, I really wish I had the stencil that was in the kit, but dumb me does not have it. Hmm. Let me think. I'm going to do this. I'm going to go. Uh, no, that's going to cover up most of it. No, no, no. I think I'm going to go back with the circles. Oh, let's try this. I, I don't know what I'm doing right now. So just, just, just jive with me. This is Prussian, is it, yeah, Prussian blue hue. I was hoping. Stay there. Don't go anywhere. No, I'm, I'm trying not to go a lot of paint. And I'm gonna, and I'm gonna try and not shake this. Okay. I don't want this to be super dark, even though it is kind of super dark. So what I can do is just take this over the top right now, and I'll just give it a light pat so I pull some of the paint away. Okay. Did I pull? Oh, I pulled some of it away. Oh, that was what I wanted. <laughs> I actually want, no, that's what I wanted. No. I think what I would do is lay this down just like so. Okay, I'm gonna leave that stencil right on it, and I'm gonna I'm gonna brayer this. Whoop! I hope I didn't move it. I'm gonna brayer that down just so I can get into those grooves. I hope that worked. I did. It 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 did. Okay, now I'm gonna pull this back up because I'm kind of loving that. Okay, and I'm gonna go back in here because I'm gonna. Actually, I'm going to pick that up first. I want to pick all that up. Whatever's left there, pick that up. Kind of cool. I can kind of line up where that goes. I don't necessarily need to. But let's just... Prussian Blue Hue is one of my all-time favorite have-to-have-it colors. Okay. So now I'm picking this up, cleaning my plate. Okay. Just cleaning my plate. That's all I was doing. And now I'm going to go with a lighter, just going to go a little bit lighter and not a ton. Oops, I'm trying to keep, trying to keep one brayer clean. I'm the kind of person who needs one brayer clean, one bra mm, Come on, Trace, go a little bit more. All right, I don't want this to be too bold. We're just going to... Okay. I took too much off, but I will come back in. Mm -hmm. I am managed to somehow keep my fingers somewhat clean. Okay. Now the whole purpose of this is to go layer upon layer upon layer upon layer. Okay. So you see, I, look at I'm even picking up the sides, which I absolutely love. Okay. And I'm going to do one more layer. So I'm going to still have those flowers there. And I know I'm taking a lot of time on this, but no. I am because I want to. <laughs> I'm going to go one more time. So don't think you cannot layer upon layer upon layer upon layer. Ooh. Hello, Denmark is in the house. Oh, I love this. This is the best way to spend my lunch. We'll have to eat today. One cannot live on creativity alone. Oh my god. Okay. I'm leaving it. I'm I'm absolutely leaving it. Okay. How many do we have done so far? Two, four, six. Wow. Okay. I don't even know if I have six friends to mail a postcard to, but they're going to get them. I am mailing postcards. I'll start mailing postcards to everybody at Jelly Arts. I was going to I was gonna make a joke and say, hey, pop your ad address to me. No, do not pop your address to me. I'm not that person. 
Okay, let's start with something. Uh, oh, I guess I should have cleaned that off a little bit. Nah, let's do one more. Let's just do one more. And I'm gonna, whoop. you know what I'm gonna do? Let's mix two really awesome colors together. Why? Because I said so. Look at that. Oh, man. I'm getting nervous because I feel like those stencils are heading toward the trash can. So everybody, oh no, I'm just using my apron to clean off. Um, What's cool is this copy paper really dries fast, so you're just using it. You just keep reusing it. Lisa just said, I love it that there's so many people here from all parts of the world. I'm like, oh, gal, please don't say that. I get super nervous. Okay, yep. Mm hmm She's happy. I do want to cover this, though. Like, I want to... What color? Hmm. I no white. Let me think. Let me think. Oh, impression blue hue always works well. No, I don't want to go darker. I'm talking to myself. This is what it's like to create with me. No, I don't want orange. I just want. I should have colored that card first, but I'm not woulda, coulda, shoulda. I'm just gonna go for it. I'm gonna go right over where. So I'm an art journaler. I like to doodle and draw over things. So every one of these cards is going to have a hand-drawn something from me. There we go. And I don't have to set anything in the same dang place. In fact, I'm going to switch around how the card goes on there. Oh, Chris Johnson just said, this is so fun to watch. Isn't it relaxing? I mean, it's relaxing for me. And then I'm going to switch up the colors. I just wanted a little bit. I don't want that so white because I'm going to draw that. Okay, now we're going to switch up the colors. How do I switch up the colors? Well, first off, just wipe my plate off. You can use um, a baby wipe. Uh, I don't really like to concentrate on the cleaning part. I like to kind of concentrate on the creating part. So let's go... I'm just going to give a little, like, ombre look. Uh, should I go to a darker blue? Do I have blue in here? I'm not really a blue person, but let's try it. Whoops, come back here. Okay. Well, I'm going to be a blue person today. Is it Prussian blue? Oh my god, Prussian blue, how I love you. This is a great way to get like that ombre look where you build up. Where's my tags? Ooh. Oh, you, uh, Dorothea, I'll give you an example. Okay, I will definitely give you an example. In fact, I will show you some prior. Uh, I'm dropping that on. Look at me, I'm like, oh, don't be exact. And as I'm, now that's going to be crooked. That's okay. So next week I have a little uh, shout out. We have um, we have a guest, and that would be Seth Actor. For those, I'm in love with this. I am in love with this. I'm in love with this. Distress the edges. Oh yes. Okay. Uh, Dorothea asked a really awesome question, and I have an I have an answer. So this is my jelly. I'm going to give you the answer. I like to give answers. Okay, so not this. Oh, that was one. Um, this is my jelly. Pre uh, this is my five by. This is a five and a half by. What is it? Five and a half by eight and a half book. These are all done with the five by seven jelly plate. So here's another example. And then you know, we've been going for half an hour. I feel pretty happy about that. But these are all. Jelly Arts Backgrounds. I'll try not to fly through them. So, oh, I should use some, okay, I'm going to use some combs. 
uh, some bubble wrap. So let's let me. Uh, yep, yeah, this is this is an example of what my book. And then what I do, Dorothea, is I leave these in here so that all I have to do is carry around a black pen, and then or a white pen or whatever, and I draw on all of them. So that's just my background to fun. That's all I call that, my background to fun. Ah. Oh my God, is this luscious or what? Oh, I need to use some dark colors. Oh, I need to use some red and black. Okay, I'll keep going. That I think that answers your question. And um, I made a cute little mini book. I don't know what I did with that. Um, on one of the lives, All right, I'm gonna keep going because, wow, I, I don't wanna to touch that. That, I kinda of know when I go, I take things too far, which is just about everything I do. So I'm just gonna leave that and I'm gonna just pick up whatever's on here and put it on my, my the next postcard. Yes, oh, not much was left on that because I was yipper yappy. All right. Uh, let's just do a base color of green because what could go wrong with green? Oh, uh, Chris, to the answer your question on that particular journal, you could do it either way. She asked if you could, the 5x7 plate, do you, um, do you put it in the, uh, put the plate on the book or do you put the uh, book on the plate? And to answer your question, I do both, but that particular book, it come the pages come out. So I take the pages out and work with them. This is just two colors. I just am I am just messing around. That's all I'm doing. Hopefully that answers your question. It works always. Uh, I cannot answer the how much is the shipping for the kit part. <laughs> And if I'm missing your questions, Sarah can either throw one my way or I can, um, I'll, I'll catch you at the end. Oh, man. See, I don't want to touch any of these because I love them so much. But you know what would look really good on this is just a light slathering of Titan Buff. Does anybody know that color? I want to say white, but I'm not going to do white. I'm going to do like a cream. Oh, this is parchment. Titan buff or something is what I was thinking, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do this. It's like a cream color. All right. Now, officially, all of my plates are dirty, or all of my um, brayers are dirty, which is okay. I, I don't. Yes. I'm gonna take this and stick it back over the top. And just lightly touch it down. And let me just tell you, they ship pretty dang quick. Oh, golly. And these will all be dry in seconds. So let's see, a couple more. I will just pick up. Well, you know what I will do? I will put this down. I love just hucking whatever I got left over here. Well, I'm not cleaning my plate well, that's for sure. I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave it for the next time I do this. Whoops, that one came out quick. Now, see, oh, that's purple. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Not what I expected. So let's just, oh, yes. Okay. Happiness is finding something you didn't expect. Okay, oh, I know what I'll do. Okay, I'm getting so lazy I don't even want to put the paper over it in here. But, whoops, okay, I think I got, there you go. Oh, that's okay. Now look at me, my OCD is going to kick in and go, well, all right, look at that. My OCD is going to kick in. But I'm going to say, go away, OCD, we don't have time for you today. What have I not used? I know what I have used, and I will go in my magic compartment. If you don't have some of these, uh, hopefully I can find the minis. Yes. Okay. This is Punchinella. 
okay if you don't have oh, oh what color was that last one uh, let's go with this so don't forget to start looking at household items so this is a comb you can make little swirls we and they're all different sided and this is punchinella that I just threw down on there. I don't know if this is going to work, if we're going to see it, because I didn't use that darker of a color. But since I'm here, I don't mind trying. Let's not slip this time. <sighs> okay. And when I get to a good, solid, odd number. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh my god. I'm sorry, but the more you layer, the more you just, uh, yes. So I start looking at things around the house a little bit differently. For example, let's do a bright yellow. I'm not a yellow person. Let's do something like this. So I'm going to throw this down over all the, I don't really wash off my plate until I'm done. And I, We've discovered that it picks up some awesome stuff. Well, that is bubble wrap. That happens to be mini, like mini bubble wrap. Ooh, that's pretty. Just that's pretty alone. And I'm going to throw that down so we can pick that up. How many did I get? I'll show you the little mini journal I made. I think it might have been like my favorite, my first Facebook Live. That was super fun. I'll show you what, oh my God. Oh, see, I don't want to touch this stuff. Okay, how many How many do we have? And then I'll just give you, oh, whoops, that one just fell on the floor. Oh, picked up some texture off the floor. Okay, two, four, six, eight, 10, 11. Good, good solid, even, or odd number. That's an odd number. All right. See if I can. Okay, here I'm gonna come back to you guys, uh, uh, and I'll just I'll split the screen with you. Oops. All right, I'm back. All right, so this was a little. This was just um, I think this might have been mixed media paper. So I I just sewed it. I sewed it shut. I showed it. Uh, so sewed the edges of it just to bound, bind it. But this gives you an idea of just a quick mini book that you can make. And every print was different, okay? Um, so in this particular case with these, uh, I will leave you with this. Some things I like to do to this. Oh, these are just absolutely gorgeous. Um, I just love the layering. So with this, I'll probably come in and just take like an ink pad to the edges to finish those off. I think I'm going to make a mini album postcard book, a tag book. I think I changed my, I don't know. I do need some thank you cards. Uh, and then all I'm going to do is draw on there, but all of these are real conducive to um, just finishing out the edges with a black, 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 black. I love my color. Oh, my God. And did you see it was not a lot of paint? And then I will draw over the top of this. If you go to my Facebook page, Art Journaling with Tracy Winesaffle Studios, I do show all of these completed. Let's just, what, this is, here's the point where everybody right now, mark, mark my words. See, this is what I do. I push everything to the side. I close all the paint. And then I huck everything in the trash. <laughs> so... Tracy, do you post the cards when finished? Yes, I do. And these are the types of things I like to take to bed. And, oh, this dried really quick. And I will draw the heck out of them. And these are going to be postcards. These are going to be real postcards. These are real postcards. Again, I don't know how to mail a postcard. So I will make sure if you go over to my Facebook page. Uh, first off, I will post a photo of all of the, the ones we did today. And this takes about five minutes to clean up. Uh, the stencils, I just take them and put them in water after I throw them away in the trash can by accident. So I will just here, I'm going to come down. You don't need to see me, do you? All right. 
Oh, good. We haven't even gone 45 minutes yet. So let's, let me just shove all this stuff off to the side. I always take a picture and show what my art space looks like. I'm just wiping my hands. I always take a picture of the artwork after we're done. And then I show a picture of my space and then I clean it up in five minutes because then I can't work in here. But do you see what do, uh, just a little bit of ink on the edges does? What kind of pens do I use? Sharpie. I'm a Sharpie girl. They should definitely be contacting me because that's, uh, if you go to my Facebook page, I give you tons of, you'll see all, not all my techniques, I mean, I guess, I run a membership group called Your Artful Journey, and they get my every bit of lesson I teach there. And for those of you who are wondering, oh my God, uh, I am doing a, I have an online class next week on Zoom. I should give that link. I don't know if I can give a link. Let's see if I can. This is going to be a link to, I don't know if I have that up. I think it is. Okay. Otherwise, I sent you to my mother's something. <laughs> and I'm going to tear, not tear apart, dissect art journaling. That's what I do. I, I'm absolutely obsessed right now. I don't want, I love everything. Sometimes I get on and I, just, just doing this to the edge just gives it a little bit of finish. Um, and then we're done. We, we kind of, and I will draw over all these. Now, I don't do that today because I'm actually at work. This is my lunch break. <laughs> there. Oh. Who is, okay, let's see if I can just kind of bunch these up a little bit more. Okay. We were able to do in just a really a mere half an hour. Now, this one is going to have a white white pen just and white liner brush oh my god thank you jelly arts thank you Anne, for saying thank you now see this one was my first one and this was just i am on my my website art journaling with tracy wines apple studios tonight at 5 30 and i'm going to be announcing the art party that is coming up i do a free art party with um 12 other artists Oh my goodness. Is this, oh yes, this is it. Okay, I'll come back. Yes, Wendy, this, um, I'm sending this. Okay, we're done. Okay. <sighs> Need a cigarette and a fan on because I'm hot and I don't smoke. So before anybody says it, I don't smoke. Never have, never will, don't touch the stuff. I'm a health person. I'm gonna take this off. So here are some things I would like to leave with you. A little goes a long way. Here's some parting words. Don't be afraid to experiment and don't be afraid to let it all go haywire and pull it all back or cover it and layer it and layer it. And just this is what I like to teach and how I like to teach. Um, and these are going to be actual postcards I mail out. I only have a few more. I feel like I should have finished them, but I didn't because now I just want a whole series of them. And my thought is I probably should have just linked these all together and just put them on a little keychain. But I'm going to actually mail these out. So these will go, ah, I know what these will be. These will be thank you cards that go in my orders uh, for uh, people who order journals for me. And I will answer this question because I do carry these journals on my Facebook page. When I say something tears out, they tear out and go back in. So that's the kind of journal I use. Uh, and I would love for you to follow me on Facebook. I'm live tonight on my Facebook page at 530 where I'm announcing the art party. And uh, Jelly Arts, again, is one of my main sponsors always. They support and love. I love them to death. And you can get this 5 by 7 kit, but it's limited. That $16 pricing is something that I ask for them to do for me when I'm on here because... I want to inspire you to actually create with the things you buy. And I will photograph each of these when I'm done, uh, in between warming up my lunch. And you will see them done. And then I will have uh, samples. In fact, tonight I'll probably videotape me drawing over the top of, top of them. When I draw, it's a 20-minute timer, and then I call it a day. 
But that's what I teach uh, people to do, and I love it. And oh my god! Oh, uh, Tanya is one of our, our our. I don't. I didn't even say one of our artists. I know I mentioned them at the beginning. She as well does Facebook Lives for us, and I believe I actually just talked her into, or I just said, hey, can you do the end of August? But Seth Apter is going to be here next Wednesday, and um, just amazing. We are just uh, so thankful for the orders and the support, and we know that uh, life has thrown curveballs, and creativity is one of the best ways to... Um, deal with that curveball right now. I love jelly plates. Oh my God. We love you guys. We love you so much. And I did a nice odd number of 11. Now I should have done 15, but I'm not going to go crazy. I will immediately photograph these. They will go onto my Facebook page. I'll make sure to share that uh, with Jelly Arts this afternoon. Um, and then I'm going to go back to work and juggle numbers. Okay. Loved your demo, Tracy. Thank you. Going to Jelly Arts to get the kit. Yes, limited. Those are limited. When they sell out, they sell out. And by the way, uh, they're back to school. No, the camp, uh, summer camp kit sold out. That's what I was going to be doing, but I couldn't do it. Um, we uh, have another kit coming up, and I just got it, so stay tuned. And that will be a uh, while supplies last, last as well. Uh, I'm going to go clean up. Thank you, Sarah, for moderating and doing what you do. And thank you, Jelly Arts, for having me back. I believe I'm back about a month from now toward the end of August. So I, I've talked more people into doing this with us. I love it. Okay, I'll talk to you all later. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, uh, Thank you. Why do I keep saying ah? Oh. Have an awesome day and thanks Jelly Arts. Please go do something creative today.